My name is Kaylin Riddle. Okay, and why did you come out here to uh, this demonstration against Monsanto? Um, I came out here just in a basic protest and solidarity um, uh, with um, various small farmers, uh, independent producers, and against uh, what I see as a growing uh, corporatism and a reliance on a technocracy, which um, kind of averse to myself. Yeah, I call it the empire system myself, where a few control all. <laughs> Plutocratic system. Right. I mean, you know, whether or not it, whether it's malignant or whether they just think it's their better order, um, I mean, to some people it may be, but to me, it's not. It's against my instincts and it's not towards my value system. I mean, I've been labeled um, with uh, objective defiance disorder. What? <laughs> It's a t it, technically, technically, I guess that there is a, uh, I guess it's a mental condition to be objectively defiant. To have critical thought is now a mental. It's been that way since I was a kid. What? You know, um, I, I've been an activist for a lot of years, and I know I have a little X on my back. Like when I go, like I said, I go to Olympia, and and the media always seems to want to get an interview with me, and I really have nothing to say to the mainstream media. I, I you know they're bought off and they're not going to listen and they twist it. So um, I, I, I actually love the way you were talking about this because the technocracy in the technical age has took us away from instinct and I'm Native American and I think we all should get back to oh, I've planting. kind of got a thing for my own ethnic tribalism. And, right know, right on. Hammer, you know, life rune on a blade. Okay, and that's what people need to actually go back to. We originated from that, and people don't understand. I, I guess that history's being erased um, slowly but surely. Um, they're changing the history of all of us. Yeah. Kind of just the blended, averaged out uh, humanity model. They've got for everything. Just a one size fits all model. They want to push on to the society. Generic. I, I went, to, I, I myself went to, I'm Native American, I went to some Indian reservations and they are all now, some aren't, but some are bought into the corporate, the corporatism and they're, I call them generic Indians, they sold out. It has been a pleasure talking to you, this rain is getting bad. <laughs> um, but I'm glad you're doing what you're doing, we got here a little late, so. Um, we're all just hanging out here in the rain. I'm going to show some more signs. I thank you very much for talking with me. No problem. You make some awesome points, so yeah, I just wanted you to know that. So, through our conversation. Now, you over there, I don't want to know what he's doing. Okay, I'm going to read this sign. Now, before I got here, there I understand there was close to 50 uh, yes, there's 50 people here today. Uh, we marched around both sides of the main roads in town and uh, we had a great time. A lot of people showed up. It was more than I was expecting for this small rural area. Yeah, and it is a rural area and for 50 people to show up. And the rain probably has dampened some yeah. of this. It is kind of, we're it's all getting... the hardy souls out here. Today. Yeah, right now there is. and. Um, but I understand that people are going to Raymond, Washington. I don't know. Oh, if yes, uh, they're having a pretty big event in Raymond. Yeah. Up in Olympia. And I'm not going to go to Olympia. Yeah, um, I figure much. they're going to be covering that pretty much. I wanted to well, go thank to. Thank you for coming out today. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry we were late. I thought uh, it started at 11. Yeah, I got here late. Oh, so. I got uh, Did you? Yeah, I only walked around once. So. Uh, okay. Well, at least you're still standing out here. And yeah. I think we're going to. I'm going to put the camera down and just. Hold some signs up and see what happens. Yeah. And, uh, and listen, we did stop by to get um, some covering for the weather. And at the Goodwill place, they all said, "We wish you well. We're all with you in spirit." Oh, cool. So That's I just thought here. I thought I'd let you know that. All right, let me get off the camera, and uh, I'm gonna stand out here and hold a sign. All right, thank you. City Hall, Aberdeen, Washington, and we have some signs here. against Monsanto that have been left. Um, people are going on to another um, 
event in Raymond, Washington. And it is just pouring down, raining here. I can understand why people want it. They had children. I saw children here. I didn't get to film any of them, okay. but. Um, Taking these down, I'm gonna get soaked. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I just wanted to let you know that rural communities are standing up against Monsanto. So, um, in Aberdeen, Washington, Aberdeen City Hall. Uh, they did have a good protest with over 50 people coming up and showing up. Peace. This is Linda. Out. Hi, this is Linda. Um, I thought the march started at 11. When we got there, the weather was horrendous. Um, as we were driving up, we saw probably 20 or 30 people walking on the side of the road. Um, but by the time we got our signs out, people were leaving, so I interviewed a couple of people. Um, but I understand that around 50 people did show up in a rural community, which more should have, but um, the weather is just horrendous here. We've got a low pressure system moving on shore, and I'm right by the Pacific Ocean where I came um, to see uh, the local rural Monsanto march. Um, I did get a couple of interviews, and uh, we're on our way back home. Shoot, I'm soaking wet and freezing. Um, but anyway, peace and love to everyone, and I will upload the videos when I get home.